You may have noticed on Facebook, you now have the ability to look for someone's face in any of your images. You can track down friends, look for old pictures. Well, that's something that Facebook has been working very hard on, and it's part of a bigger artificial intelligence push. I'm here today with Daniel Turdeman, who's been writing about Facebook and artificial intelligence for us. Daniel, tell us about the larger context of what's happening, why everybody is so excited about AI right now. Everybody wants to be able to automate tasks. There's so much data, there's so many people using the systems that they really want to find a way to just have the machines do the work. Is it because machines are more cost efficient? What is the gain in the end? There's no question people are better at this, but it's about doing it at scale. When, when there's more than a billion Facebook users who are on this service every single day, there's just no way that people can like handle these tasks. The, the amount of data coming into our feed every day is growing, but the amount of waking hours that we have to process it isn't. So We need someone to help filter all that stuff. Absolutely. That's, right? that's what Some of the hope is that AI will be able to help me find things or make sense of all these photos that I have. And that's one of the areas I think Facebook is pushing into, yep. which is facial and image recognition. Absolutely. They're working on things like, as you say, picking out faces. And it's not just in photos, it's also in video. What is Facebook's goal with voice recognition? Yeah, I mean, they want to play in that game too. Facebook has this thing called M, which is this not very widely rolled out uh, voice assistant. Mm -hmm. And they want it to be conversational, they want it to be very intelligent, they want it to be able to respond to tasks and, and perform things for people. Newsfeed. Lindsay Russell updated her cover photo. Yesterday at 10.29 p.m. This image may contain outdoor, cloud, foliage, flat, tree. Why not just focus on the other areas and let these other big companies compete? You know, Facebook wants to win at, at everything. Um, and I think they feel like they can because they've got the data. They've got the users. Like nobody else has the number of people doing the number of tasks every single day that Facebook has. So fast forward to five years in the future, how is artificial intelligence going to change the way I interact with Facebook day to day? There's just so much data. The number of people that are on Facebook is, is going to grow. So this is about making it more efficient, making you happier using it, and making it so like you're actually talking to a person, except you're not. You're talking to a computer. Is there a baby in the photo? Yes. Where is the baby standing? Bathroom. What is the baby doing? Brushing teeth. We want to know what you think of the future of artificial intelligence. Let us know. Hashtag 29th floor on Twitter. See you next time.